The Redmi Note 8 unboxing and first look. This surprised me, this phone. Such a low starting price, but a great design, a really good looking phone all around and some great features on this. So let's get it unboxed. Here we are, the one we've been waiting for, the Redmi Note 8. The little brother to the Redmi Note 8 Pro and the successor to the very, very popular Redmi Note 7. You get a 48 megapixel camera in this one, all for 1,000 RMB in China. For that starting price of 1,000 RMB, that is the four gigabyte version, but you can go for the six gigabyte version too. You get the usual papers in the box, and actually this jelly case isn't that bad. It has a hatch at the bottom, so the USB-C connector is not exposed when you're not charging it. You also get 18 watt fast charging in the box in this 1000 RMB phone. Well done, Redmi. I went for the white version and wow, this looks awesome, this phone. I've seen this design in a couple of other phones too, and it is without a doubt my favorite design of 2019. A color that goes from white to purple to blue. All in all, a really solid design all around. And you get that quad camera on the back here as well. A very solid phone and not very heavy considering that big battery. Wow, this is a really well put together phone. If you can see the back, it blends in to the sides really, really well. This fingerprint sensor is also really different to a lot of other phones that I've seen and I absolutely love this color. This has surprised me. I picked the white one and I didn't expect it to be this full of color. A 4,000 milliamp hour battery with 18 watt fast charging in this budget device. It just looks really, really great. Now you get that quad camera at the back there, 48 megapixel main sensor, an ultra wide, a macro lens, and a depth sensor for portrait shots. You can blur out your background when you're taking pictures. The selfie camera is 13 megapixels and you can shoot 1080p. It's looking really good in that water drop notch. Definitely an improvement from the Redmi Note 7. What's also an improvement is the size of that bezel at the bottom. They have definitely shrunk that. It's a lot smaller now and it's looking really good. Also this LCD screen, in my opinion, Colors are great, it's nice and bright. It's looking good quality on that one too. The fingerprint sensor on the back has a really unique design that I've never seen before. It is absolutely flush with the back of the phone. It looks like it's a button or a tiny sticker. You get an on off switch on the right hand side with the volume rockers there and on the left hand side is the SIM card tray. This phone reminds me a little bit of the Vivo Z5 or outside of China, it's called the Vivo Z1X. A very similar color scheme and a very similar design all round. You get the mono speaker at the bottom with your USB-C and your headphone jack. The Snapdragon 665 is not a direct upgrade to the Snapdragon 660 like you find in the Redmi Note 7. But considering the price of this phone, I don't really expect anything more. Certainly a 700 series Snapdragon is just going to be too expensive for a phone like this. Having said that, for the starting price, you get a great list of specs. And for day-to-day -day use, the 665 is gonna be plenty powerful enough. But you'll see just how powerful it is in a second when we get onto some PUBG. If you're in China, you do get this smart assistant if you swipe left and you get lots of different features. I don't know if that exists outside of China though. And to let you know how it charges, yes, there is an LED light. You can see it just left of the camera unit there. The bezels are much smaller than I remember on the Redmi Note 7. The screen is really great for browsing social media. It's a 1080p full HD resolution screen. It is LCD. But if you might have been looking at the Xiaomi Mi A3 and were a little bit disappointed with the resolution of that screen, this might be a really good option for you considering a lot of the other specs are similar too. Let's try out the fingerprint sensor and see how accurate it is. It really is a unique design on this fingerprint sensor at the back. Three, two, one, go. Okay, very good. Three, two, one, go. Yep, no problem. Three, two, one, go. This is the front selfie camera I'm filming on right now. If you want to see some more pictures of this phone and some pictures from this phone, go and follow my Instagram and my Twitter. You can interact with me and see some more stuff over there. Moving on to the camera here, because we have a Snapdragon 600 series, you're not going to get amazing pictures as you would out of a more expensive chipset. However, I was very pleased with the results. The colors are very poppy 
and very similar to what I see on a lot of other Xiaomi and Redmi phones. Anyway, let's get on to PUBG. And that Snapdragon chipset in here isn't capable of very high frame rates for PUBG. You can go up to the middle setting if you turn the resolution down. If you want high frame rates, you're gonna to have to spend a little bit more money and go for the Redmi Note 8 Pro. If gaming really is important to you, like I said, you might wanna spend the little bit of extra money and go for the Redmi Note 8 Pro. That's got a more powerful processor all around. But for the price, I think this is a really great device. Another great device from Redmi, a really, really good design on this one and a definite upgrade from the Redmi Note 7 design. A really good package all round and you get that quad camera at the back and this design is really surprising. It really looks good. And I love the device overall. Anyway, that's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.